Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. Welcome to Black Night News. Today is Friday, June 3rd. It is a black day, and this will be our final broadcast for the 2010-2011 school year. I am Mr. Clark. Four CHS students competed at the Catholic Forensic League Grand National Chef Tournament in Washington, D.C. this weekend. Lizzie Hilton and Ivy McCall and Leakin Douglas debate Sarah Hart and Jesse Press Williams in student congress. The CHS graduation will be tomorrow, June 4th, at 9 a.m. at the John Paul Jones Arena. Please stand by for this week's Focus Friday. Uh, low riding has started in the penal system. I believe it started in jail, to be honest. Actually meant you were available. Probably New York, somewhere up in there. I'm not sure. I think it originated in the penitentiary. Um, my belief is that it originated in prison. Uh, their pants were hanging low because of the fact that they're not allowed to have belts uh, because of the potential of committing suicide and using them as weapons. And Central LA, when they would take people to jail, they would take their belts and their shoelaces. That way, when they were most distraught, they couldn't hang themselves in the jail cell. Jail. It originated from jail, and then it went to the streets. So everybody started doing it, so everybody else went doing it. Perfect. Prison. Your pants look back on. If you was in jail, it's in the habit. So that's where it came from there. Everybody think they, they gangsta, so they're going to wear their pants low. Pop culture, like videos, music videos, movies. In the hoods, I guess. In jail. In jail. Started in the inner cities and they spread out. It started in the prison system. Uh, it's been around for, I guess, about 10 years. And I actually thought it was a, uh, a fad that was going to come and go within a couple of years, but it seems to be staying with us. Even with the skinny jeans, kids are still low riding. Uh, the elastic wore out of the pants, and the gel does not have a fashion statement. You just wear what they give you. Who would have ever thought there was so much to low riding? What's do now for summer school? Applications are due June 17. Thank you, Mr. Clark. If you have not already purchased a yearbook, you may do so anytime between now and the last day of school. For a reduced price of $55, please bring a check or cash to Ms. Zagsetter's room in A234. Do you want to win a pair of tickets to go see Parachute this weekend? If you do, answer this trivia question. How many members of Parachute were CHS graduates? And email your answer to cvilljefferson at gmail.com. A winner will be drawn randomly. The winner's tickets will be available anytime. Please call before the show. Tickets are compliments of the band and the red light management. Please stand by for a special announcement. Pizza and soda will be sold during break, during the exam. Pizzas will cost $1.50 and sodas will cost 50 cents. All money will go to the rising junior class. Yeah. This is a reminder to the students with educational release and work release. All students with any type of off-campus release must sign out with Ms. Morris at the attendance desk each day prior to leaving school for your release period. And now over to sports with Chad. Thank you, broadcasters. The boys and girls track teams compete in the state AA meet today and tomorrow. Free school physicals will be provided on Tuesdays this summer, June 14th, July 12th, and 26th, August 2nd and 16th, from 5.15 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Charlottesville Free Clinic. There's a mandatory football meeting in the weight room Monday after school. Now back to broadcasters. Please stand by for your minute of silence and pledge. Please stop what you're doing in observation of the minute of silence.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, we wish you the best on your exams and your summer break. This has been Mr. Clark for Black Night News. Thank you for watching BKN all year long. Please turn off your TVs after the credits. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life.